the day of the test, you want to make sure you arrive on time. Good job, Susan. Arriving early is always a fabulous idea. Now, here comes the rest of the students. Once again, Bertha is trudging in late as usual. All right, students, now it's time to take out your supplies. While you are taking the MCAS, you must use number two pencil only. Pens are not allowed during the test. You, however, are allowed to use highlighter in your test booklet only. When you are taking the math MCAS, you may use a calculator in the section that allows you to do so. Now, look at this picture. What is the difference between Susan and Bertha? A. Susan is ill-prepared. Just like Bertha, there is no differences. B. Susan is completely prepared for the test, while Bertha is not. C. Bertha is completely prepared for the test, and Susan is not. Good job! The correct answer is B. Susan is completely prepared, while Bertha is not. Oh no, Bertha! Did you forget your supplies? What are you going to do now? Something is still not correct about this picture. That's right, Bertha. You need a number two pencil. Okay, class. It is now time to put away all your cell phones. Yes, Bertha. Even you. Just remember, all electronic devices are strictly prohibited during the test taking time. At 8.30, you will receive two booklets for the MCAS. You will receive a test booklet and an answer booklet. All your answers must go into your answer booklet and that will be the only thing that is graded. Anything you put in the test booklet will not be seen and your test booklet will be recycled. During the test, you will need to answer a few open responses and have a lot of multiple choice. It is recommended to do your open response before your multiple choice so you will have enough time to write. As you see, we have Susan working hard and we have Bertha... Coloring? Bertha, why are you coloring? Bad Bertha, put away your colored pencils! Remember, when you take the open response, write something. Never leave it blank. If you truly don't know what to write, just simply rewrite the question in your answer booklet. Wait, Bertha! Okay, now, what do you think will happen? A. She will catch the coffee before it spills. B. The coffee will fall off her desk and onto the floor. C. Will c the coffee will get all over her test. The correct answer is C. She will get coffee all over her test. During the test, you do not want to have any food or drinks on your desk while you are taking the test. Filling out the multiple choice can get boring sometimes, but remember, don't be like Bertha and draw a picture. Give it your best guess. Be like Susan and stay focused during the test. Bertha... WAKE UP! Let's all take a look at what Bertha was doing last night. As you can see, Bertha was up all night playing video games. That is the complete opposite of what you want to do. You want to get to bed at a reasonable time to get a good night's sleep. Some people say that if you do great on the multiple choice, that they will not grade the open response. That rumor is false. They will grade the open response no matter what. Guys, we strongly urge all of you to take the MCAS seriously, although this video really wasn't. You must pass your MCAS exams in order to graduate. There are also many benefits to taking the MCAS exam and doing well. One of the many benefits you can get are the scholarships. One is the Abigail Adams Scholarship. Doing well on the MCAS exam is also important for the betterment of the school and how we portray ourselves. So remember, try your hardest, do your best, and don't be like bad Bertha. Good luck, Good luck everyone. everyone.